After two and a half hour bus ride we get into boats and drove further 16 kilometers via natural and artificial channels to the nearby Tortuguero National Park. These navigable channels and lagoons cross the park from southeast to northwest with a unique flora and fauna. The National Park is 100 square miles and was founded 1975 to protect the sea turtles. Hence the name of the park, because translated means the name Tortuguero, places at which the turtle come, and comes from the Spanish word Tortuga, from what is called turtle. The village of Tutuguero lies directly on the elongated dark sandy turtle beach, which runs parallel to the lagoon and is the gateway to the Tutuguero National Park. At different times the leather turtles, the green sea turtles, the bustard turtles and the real and fake turtles lay their eggs. We are lucky and can secure the pass on the beach of six nearly hatched green sea turtles. Only about 1% of the turtles make it to sexual maturity. The rest are killed on the way to the water, on the beach by birds, crabs and dogs. As well as in the sea, they served as fish food. But not only the turtles fascinate the national park, also the various mammals, birds, amphibians and reptiles. So we could see crocodiles, sloths, Aaron Venon frogs, capuchina apes, basilic lizards or even Jesus Christ lizards, raccoons, spiders, otters and parrots and listen to many other animals. For our guided tour early in the morning we are lucky because the rain is taking a break. Ray Brown, our guide, who has already explored the animal world with the German biologist Barbara Hartung, explains to us the life of the animals here in the rainforest. They produce a pigmentation and they get yellow and black coloration. Mm -hmm. Very similar than a tiger. That's why tiger hair. Okay? They get that coloration only for protecting themselves. The slots are more relaxed. They are known mainly for their way of life, with their back down in the branches their very slow movement and the long resting phases. <laughs> <laughs> 